<sighs> Alright guys, I'm officially worried. Hello everyone, this is my 2001 uh, Toyota MR2 Spider uh, that I will be putting a veil side body kit on and hopefully the not too distant future. Um, so uh, I'm doing this video kind of as an update because it's been a while. Um, it's been uh, a wild month. So many things have gone awry. Uh, but uh, we're not going to focus on those. We're just going to talk about one uh, particular item today, and that is the actual kit. So um, a couple weeks ago, or about a month or so ago, uh, I put out a video about is Vivid Racing a scam or not. So Vivid Racing is a website that I use to order uh, my veil side kit. Um, and this site, at the time, I only thought that there were two people that could get the kit from Veilside. And uh, Vivid Racing, you know, gave me the best deal. But them and Midship Garage both have terrible reviews. Um, some people swear that they've been straight up scammed um, by this company. Um, and a lot of the reviews, uh, at least the positive ones, you know, seem to be a bit astroturfed. But, uh, but in the video, and especially in the comments section of that video, I kind of stated, you know, things uh, after a very hard initial start with uh, Vivid, um, things seem to be turning up. And like, they, I, they even inspired enough confidence in me that I ordered a pair of work wheels from them. Um, but however, you know, over the last month, <laughs> my faith in them has been, again, you know, started to become tested. So uh, basically, uh, the big issue is that I was supposed to have my kit a month ago, at the, begin at the beginning of this month. And uh, every week, every week this week, I've been told by Vivid um, that the kit will be coming next week. First week of December, kit will be here next week. Come up next week, kit will be there next week. We have that, kit will be there next week. And this last week, I had a terrible time trying to get a hold of them. They kind of reverted to the old, you know, food racing, where it was impossible to get anyone on the phone. They weren't really responding. They weren't not even not really. They were not responding to my emails. And then I started thinking again, like when you have bad customer service paired with these terrible reviews, I started thinking, am I getting scammed? Um, did something happen to the kit? Do they just want me to give them a, a loan of a couple thousand dollars and after streaming along for a few months say, hey, you know? Uh, sorry, uh, it got lost or something like that. We'll give you your, your money back. You know, all these things, you know, are floating uh, in my mind. Um, and then actually right before I shot this video, um, I actually was finally able to get a hold of Vivid Racing. And they told me, uh, you know, what they've been telling me uh, the last couple weeks. Oh, you know, something came up, blah, blah, blah. Don't worry, you'll get your kit next week. So I kind of told them, I'm like, hey, man, like, I'm starting to get worried. Like, it's for the past month, you know, you've been telling me that it should uh, be coming next week. Like, you could confirm that the kit is actually left Japan and is in a warehouse in California, and it's just a matter of just getting it here. Like, you're telling me that that's the case. I'm like, yes, that's the case. Kit set the dock, you know, you should have it next week. Um, and basically, you know, that's uh, where, where, you know, that's where that is. You know, I'm kind of worried, you know, if I'm actually, you know, ever going to get the kit. Or whether or not, you know, as some people suggest, that <laughs> racing is uh, not really trustworthy and uh, what would likely, what likely is going to happen um, is that they're going to tell me, uh, however long this goes on, say, hey, you know, we don't know what happened to it. It got lost. We'll offer you a refund, which will, of course, you know, set the bill back more uh, than it's already been set back. And, you know, there's big updates regarding the timeline. Um, there's big updates uh, regarding the wheels. Um, there's big updates everywhere. There's big there's big updates on whether or not I've, you, whether or not I should even do this uh, whole wide body build. It's gonna happen. But you know there are big updates everywhere. This video uh, is not for that. Uh, I just wanted to. It's been a while since I posted a video, so I just wanted to get a quick video out there, share it with you, uh, just in case you guys are wondering uh, where this was at, what's going on. Everything is not fine. <laughs> Things are, you know, I'm kind of freaking out over here. Um, but, uh, 
yeah, I mean, if you guys, have you guys ever been in a situation where you're kind of like, you know, being bent over a barrel by a vendor? Um, you know, <laughs> was I, you know, kind of silly to end up going with Vivid Racing despite what, you know, people on the internet have been saying? Um, hope you guys had a great uh, Christmas. I hope you're having a uh, great New Year's. And hopefully, you know, 2021 brings good things. And particularly, hopefully, uh, you know, my VL side and build. And, you know, just as a little bit of some foreshadowing, you know, worst case scenario, worst case scenario, hopefully the most unlikely scenario, but worst case scenario is that this is not complete <laughs> until the very, very beginning of uh, 2022. Hopefully that won't happen. Hopefully things will get started here soon, but, uh, you know, subject for another day. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Thank you.